Welcome back to another episode of Lost in the Farmer's Market Garden Shorts. Today, we have this giant specimen, and yes, we're back in the garden, because obviously there's no way I'd fit that on a workbench. What you have before you is a chia plant. Yeah, that chia. The chia from the chia pet. Well, this is what it looks like in mature form. That is easily six feet tall. Now, chia seed will germinate on just about anything, which is why chia pets are so, um, popular. Yeah, that's the word I'm going with here. Now, chia seedlings are actually edible, believe it or not. In fact, they are a choice microgreen. So, theoretically, you could eat your chia pet. However, the chia seed itself will not survive on that terracotta planter for very long because of a lack of nutrient. You would have to add fertilizer, and there would have to be something else, and... Well, it's a long story short. It's a long story there, really. Now, the scientific name of Chia is Salvia Hispanica. Hispanica meaning Spanish, you know. It refers to where it was first discovered, which would be South America. Salvia means that it's in the sage family, and... Those leaves look oddly like pineapple sage leaves. So you can see that there's definitely a relation. A lot of the deciduous sages have leaves that are similar to this. I'm going to move the tripod a bit to show you something else. That one's not doing so well, but that's not what I'm doing. Down in here are the stems, and they are square, which means ultimately they fall under the mint family, as does every other sage. True sage, that is. Now, common names are what they are, Obviously. But, zoom out. Fabulous. What's interesting about the name Chia is that in Mayan it means something that makes you strong, yet in Aztec it means oily. Okay, I can deal with that. Now, what's interesting, Chia plants. Roll a little bit is that they are hardy in USDA zones 8 to 11, which means these big mamma jammas are perennial. I definitely did not see that coming, but I'm okay with it. They prefer a soil pH of 6 to 8.5, which is about average garden soil, give or take. I mean, that's pretty open-ended. Now, the seed is what people harvest it for, genuine, genuinely speaking. But the content of seed is worth it. Seeds are little tiny things. I mean, they're like less than the, almost the size of the head of a pin. So they're tiny. So you have to harvest them by shaking the flower heads after they're spent, and hopefully you catch them. Chia seed contains 11 grams of fiber, 4 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, which includes omega 3s, 18% calcium, 30% manganese, 30% magnesium, 27% phosphorus and are 138 cal calories per ounce, which is 28 grams. Now what's interesting is the chia leaves are used in therapeutic energy boosting tea. As I mentioned before, the new shoots can be used as sprouts, and I've seen several recipes for combining them with yogurt as a breakfast food, and I've heard they can be used in substitution for spinach. I mean, look at all these things. I, if that's true, then um, I'm pretty sure Popeye can come and knock on my door and get some, some spinaches. Now, what's interesting about chia is that, supposedly, and I've to prove this or disprove this, because you can see the fifth spot in the middle of the bed there, but that, that's a different issue. Anything grown near chia grows better. I don't know how true that is, but I do know... Chia, being a sage, will produce sky blue flowers near the tips, which are a massive attractant for pollinators. So even if you don't grow them for food or for seed or anything else, as a screening ornamental, as you can see how big mine are, they are successful, even as a physical barrier. As something to attract pollinators, they're a win, because they produce nectar and pollen, they're in the mint family, so they're going to attract the usual host of flying insects. And, 
You're growing something weird and crazy, and your neighbors will think you're some kind of weird garden fruitcake hippie. Being a rebel never looks so good. That's all I have for you today, and that's the wonderful world of chia. If you guys have any funky recipes for using chia leaves, please, you know, leave a comment and say, I use chia leaves, I roll them up and I smoke them, or whatever. As always, folks, keep it growing.